Good morning, Soul Family. Happy Tuesday to you guys. I have a download from Spirit this morning. And Spirit is saying that there are many of us in the collective that are going through monumental what seems to be hurdles for some take it how it resonates setbacks for others it seems to be a period of idleness or stagnation where nothing seems to be moving you can see things moving around you and perhaps questions are being asked or posed to you um as if there's something that you need to do or something that you've done that was in error. But Spirit is saying that there is not an erroneous act that has taken place. For many, what is happening is that you are being held at the gate just before the release. The gun has not sounded and it just like in Jesus' time, it is not yet your hour. You're being held for your protection. Right now, the holding is for your protection. Number two, for some of you, the holding is to see. Look on the screen as you wait for your turn to come up. The Almighty wants to know that, yes, you have learned the lesson. The Almighty wants you to go back and see a preview of your life up until now. The Almighty says that you have not realized how much yourself that you have grown. The Almighty is saying that you have not realized up until this point how much you have transformed. The Almighty is saying that you have not realized that you're not in a state of punishment, but you are in a state of protection. You are being protected from the enemies that are right. You're right at the pinnacle. Of receiving your promise. And the enemy is standing on the other side of the gate. Cloaked in friends. Cloaked in family. Cloaked in false partnerships and alliances. Trying to fool you. But the almighty is saying that your intuition is on point. You see all of the false people. But here's what's happening. The people that are on the inside that are supposed to be your closest allies, some of them have been cloaked and cloned to make you believe that they are who they are, but they haven't been who they're supposed to be for a very long time. Spirit is saying that no worries. The only thing that you need to do is stand in your power. The only thing that you need to do is not give up. The only thing that you need to do is not lose hope. For some of you, something so major is about to hit your... I can't even... I can't even... Kids... really explain it to you something so major is about to hit your life that it is not only going to be mind-blowing for you it is going to be mind-boggling for those that are around you for the people that are the enemy knows don't worry about them they already know that's why it has been such a an important mission for the enemy to take you down and take you out. Because what is to come is going to catapult you so far. Something so, so very prolific is getting ready to hit your life. You're going to understand why you've been kept still. You're going to understand why you've been hidden in plain sight. You're going to understand the magnitude of why it was so important. For the enemy to try to take you down. See every time. See in man's. Thought process. Whenever you're slowed down. Whenever things are not happening. In the realm of. Time that it should. 
then you've done something wrong or there's something that, that you're needing to pay for or there's something that you need to learn. I talk to my closest soul family all the time and the first thing we ask one another is, is there a lesson to be learned and what is it? The Spirit saying, the only lesson to be learned here right now is this. Number one, to whom much is given, much is also required. Number two, if you hold on to hope, and understand that you are one with God and one with all. Everything that you've gone through up to this point was, is, was preparing you for what is getting ready to come. Everything that slows you down is not here to harm you. Every time you're slowing down, it's not because you've done something wrong. It's not because you made a mistake. But it is because you're divinely protected. It is because you're in your God consciousness. And people are looking to try to see what is it that you're doing? What is he or she doing? What kind of magic do they use? Baby, tell them, I don't use no magic. I am the magic. Why? Because I am one with God and I am one with all. I am a God. Psalms 82 and 6 says, ye are God's. But you die as men. Why? Because we get in our little weak, feeble mindset. Every time somebody gets sick, something you had to do wrong. Every time somebody has a delay, something you had to do wrong. No. God is pumping you, priming you for the people that you're going to have to help and bring out. If I am here as a guide and a mentor, I cannot help you effectively if I have not experienced the delays, the setbacks, the problems. All of the things that you have experienced in order to have a heart for the people and help humanity raise its, raise its consciousness, I have to have experienced these things. I've been through narcissistic abuse. I've been through physical abuse. I've been through drug abuse. I've been through alcoholic abuse. I've been through having teenage parents that were not able to be there for me like parents should be there for their children. Why? Because they were children themselves. I had to understand there are things that you have to understand and understand. Stop beating yourself up about the things that you've gone through. There are things that you've gone through, things you're going through. They were not for you. It's not about you. Get over yourself so that you can get in the game, get your head in the game, get the healing, and you can get on to helping those that you were sent here to help. You were assigned a certain segment in a certain nation and a portion of the collective and whoever you are assigned to you got to go through some of the things that you're going to have to bring them out of because see you got to heal yourself and as you heal yourself you'll heal others you got to live in your truth you don't want to bring anybody down, don't want to tear anybody's name down, but they didn't think about that when it was tearing your name down. Tear, telling the truth ain't tearing nobody's name down. Telling the truth ain't lying on nobody. Telling the truth ain't making nobody look bad. If your truth is bad, then you'll look bad. But as I tell my truth, the truth that happens to me, if you're in the storyline, I hope you played a good part. Because whatever part you played in the storyline, that's what I'm going to tell. I'm not going to add anything to it and I'm not going to take anything away from it. But the choices that we make, they do have a reflection on the consequences that we have to bear. But once you learn how to transmute energy, once you learn how to elevate your consciousness, you can change the perception and the reality. If you don't like the reality that you see, switch your frequency. Stop worrying about what people are going to think. If you do everything according to whatever guidelines that society sets out, somebody still ain't going to like you. I've had people that call me a witch. I've had people that call me a wolf in sheep clothing. I've had family members I haven't even seen for years and years and years and years and years. Don't know my mission. Don't know my purpose. Don't know me as a person. I got friends that stop talking to me. I don't care. Because if you stop talking to me, you were never my friend. If you accuse me of being something that I'm not, you never knew me. That's what Jesus was telling people. What God's going to say, depart from me, 
you work of iniquity. Iniquity is tearing somebody down when you don't know their heart. When you have a heart for God's people, you will only do what's for the good of all and harm to none. You will only send light, love, hope, peace, healing to people. You got people in the church that'll tell you, I need 10 people. Bring me $100. God said he's going to do that. That's damn mind manipulation. You're going to take the money up there. Tomorrow your light's out. What happened to God? God was never in it. That's what happened. You're so stuck on needing a master. You're so stuck on needing a leader. You are the leader. You were sent from the most high. You are the consciousness of source. You are the voice of God in the flesh. But you need a leader. You're so dead to the matrix. You're just going round and round. Don't even open your eyes. Just hitting corners like a ping pong ball. Tilt. Hit the corner. Keep going. Like you done had too much lean in your cup. Wake up. The zombie apocalypse is here right now. Guess what? Ain't no dead people in the cemetery. That's not the zombies. It's your next door neighbor. It's your brother. It's your sister. It's your mama. It's your daddy. It's your children. And if you dead to the truth, it's you. Wake up, baby. Somebody says stick with the program. That's the problem. You're being programmed. Wake up. Make your own conscious decision. Do your own research. Nobody's telling you don't believe in this or believe in that. That's not my job. My job is only to guide you as you try to get where you're going. That's my only job. And I'm going to do my job if I don't talk to my mama is dead and gone. My mama came back and said, hey. I need you to look at something. Some of this ain't real. The most devout Christian in the world. Shook me up. August 22nd, 2022. 3.22 a.m. in the morning. My mother died May 4th, 2022. And I said, why did she come and tell me this? But I know who my mother was in life. We didn't always get along. Rarely ever, because she did not care for me. I was not one of her favorite people, but that's okay. I'm still who I am. It still hasn't changed me. It hasn't broken me. I'm over it. I'm healed from it because now I understand who I am. Ain't many people that liked me. Hell, sometimes I didn't like myself, but I still have a job to do. And I'm going to do my job regardless. You still have a job to do. you got to get up and do your job. You cannot worry about the lover that scorned you. It didn't happen to you. It happened for you. You cannot worry about the parent that abandoned you. It didn't happen to you. It happened for you. You cannot worry about the so-called friends that betrayed you here, there, everywhere, stole from you. It did not happen to you. It happened for you. Because if it had not have happened, it would not have awakened you. It awakened you in order for you to heal so that you can get on your life purpose and your journey. For some of you, you are teachers. For some of you, you are healers. For some of you, you are in the church right now and saying, I'm teaching these people one thing, but I'm feeling something else. Wake up. Wake up. Nobody can make you do anything. But when that truth gets in your spirit, when all of your chakras line up and everything starts to turn within you, you will not be able to deny what the truth is. You will no longer be able to live in the paradigm of a matrix that is programmed so that you will stay dead to the world, so that you will not raise your consciousness, so that the powers that be of this world can continue to do all of the things. How do they get by with doing so much violent evil as above, so below? Karmic law, they put everything in movies, television shows, pop culture. They tell you what's going on. You go pay for this and be like, 
oh man, that was good. You look at it as entertainment. They're telling you what they're doing and you're not looking at it. It's not, it's not art imitating life. It's you being warned about what I'm going to do. Because if I warn you and give you a heads up, then I'm not subjected to karmic law. It's called hidden in plain sight. Think about the day that you discovered who you really were. And all the aha moments. Because everything that you had been taught, you realized was a lie. Everything that you had believed, you realized the math wasn't mathing. And when you realized why the math wasn't mathing, your life went from not lifing to over abundantly lifing. You start to manifest things, not curses. You start to manifest things, not blockages. But everything started to open up for you. You started to see who you are in the realm of time. You started to see what Jesus meant when he said, I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Why? Because you've existed. Always existed in the consciousness of time. There are people that will try to talk you back into the matrix. You better step up. You better tell them they better step out. I ain't stepping back into the program. I know what my mission is. I know what my purpose is. I know that just before the elevation, just before the ascension, everything falls. It seems like it falls down, but it's just an illusion to get you distracted so that you can't see what's before you. Don't pay attention to the distractions. Don't pay attention when the kids are going crazy. When the dog is going crazy, when the cat is going crazy, like mine is right now, when the husband or the wife is going crazy, don't pay attention. Let them have their moment. Because while you let them have their moment, that means you're staying in the moment, the present moment that you need to be in. That means that you are hyper focused. Exactly, that's my cat going crazy while I'm trying to give you this message. See, distraction. But you are hyper-focused on what it is that you're supposed to be doing. You are hyper-focused on the bigger picture. And that is why the Almighty sent you here. What is your true purpose in this earth realm? What did you set out to accomplish here? Are you accomplishing it? What is your contribution to the awakening of humanity? Think about it. Think about it. If this message resonates with you, leave me a like, leave me a comment. If you're on TikTok, Follow my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand followers so that I can go live and interact with you guys. If you're on YouTube, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you'll know when I post a video. And uh, I am planning a live with you guys uh, this week. I'll um, put it on my community page. Uh, also, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me right now, I'm doing a retrograde special uh, um, until the 30th of April you can um, I will put a link in the description box and you can click on that link with instructions to book the um, retrograde special is 4444 you can book it and um, it will be a 30 minute zoom reading um, full reading any kind love money career whatever um, spiritual warfare um, if you'd like to donate to the channel, I will also put a link, my uh, cash app, cash tag in the description box as well. I really thank you guys for your support. Remember, I will never reach out to you for a reading, uh, for a healing session, or uh, I'm getting ready to drop some uh, products, uh, resources, and tools to help you out on your journey. But um, I will never reach out to you for anything. And just beware of scammers um, and just know that. 
no matter what's going on, you are divinely guided and divinely protected. Um, don't fall for just anything. Stand in your stead. Stand in your power. Don't be afraid to let people know that you know who you are and that you're not going to fall for any false narratives. I love you guys. Keep going. Keep growing. And I'll see you guys on the next one.